Alright, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing another grind tutorial and today it's going to be the double peg. So obviously a double peg is one of the most well-known grinds in BMX just because it's like your skateboard's 50-50 or whatever else. It's the most common like grind done down a handrail. So it's obviously pretty important. Okay, so as far as like what order to learn the grinds in, I would say that the double peg would either be first or second. Um, depending on how you feel about feebles. I learned feeble first personally, but I could easily see learning double pegs first too. So, to get started, obviously you're gonna have to have pegs on whichever side you wanna grind on. Um, I'm gonna recommend that you put the pegs on whichever side you ride your foot forward. So since I'm right foot forward, that, I have pegs on my right side, but I also have a peg on my left side just cause I like to do like little oppo tooth chinks and stuff. But so if you ride right foot forward, or pegs on the right side. If you ride left foot forward, pegs on your left side. That's just gonna make it easier down the line once you wanna start doing tricks in and out of grinds. All right guys, sorry for the bit of an angle change. It's kind of awkward because there's a bunch of people that are just showing up in like the parking lot next to me. So I'll try to do it the best I can though. All right, so getting back to the double peg. Um, obviously the steps you need for the double peg are you're gonna have to find a ledge. It's a good height. And I'd recommend this one to be a little bit higher than one that you try to feeble on, just because this one you're actually going to want to have something to hop up to. Just because if it's a really little edge, you're just going to kind of want to go like this, like do just a little like, just hop both wheels at the same time. It's just going to look funny, and you could miss your front peg, and that won't be fun. But um, another thing to look out for is you're going to want to make sure that this coping is smooth, or the ledge, or whatever. Because if you get your front peg on there and it ends up catching you go over the bars, that's gonna hurt. So like, like I say, stay away from all that like coping and skate parts. That's just that like vertical metal metal piece with like the concrete next to it. It's like it gets stuck and it can mess up your bike or yourself. So avoid that at all costs. All right. So the actual steps to learning the double peg once you find your ledge is you're gonna want to roll up at about a 15 to 20 degree angle a little more than a feeble just because you're going to want to make sure that both your pegs get slammed on there and you'll probably land both pegs first at the beginning but i'd recommend getting into landing front front peg first and then kind of your back peg just kind of slaps on just because once you learn um, handrails it'll be a lot easier to do it that way than just doing both pegs at the same time so that's how you get like a full ride on a rail is you got to keep your weight centered and it's really all depends on how you get on the rail because if you get on the rail bad you're not going to stay on it. So I'll give you a quick example of what it looks like. Sorry if my camera keeps tilting up on y'all. I don't know why it's doing this. I've really done that before. But all right. So once you get on the ledge, um, there's not too much to worry about like balancing. You don't have to worry about like where your front tire is. You just gotta make sure that both your pegs are decently on the ledge, because obviously if they're not, one of them's gonna fall off. So the best one to have fall off would probably be your front one, just because you can turn off. If it's your back one, it's gonna be a kind of weird position, like it'll be a little like this. That's just gonna kind of feel funny. But um, another thing to look out for is once you start trying these, I recommend trying them on something that doesn't have a gap under them just in case you do miss that back peg you don't want to get it to get caught under there and fling you over the bars because that happens really easy i'll show you how so if you get on here and your peg gets under there like that you pull your bike that way it's getting stuck so the same thing if you're going like that you're going to get flung over the bars that way so try to find something with a flat vertical piece under it that way, if your peg does fall off, it just slides against it and you don't get thrown over the bars. Okay, so now coming off of the ledge, the first way I learned how to do this is you kind of just turn off, like I was saying just a second ago. So you'll have both pegs on, and when you're ready to get off, you just turn your front wheel and lean out a little bit, and it'll just pull you off the ledge. Uh, the other way to do it is the one that I just did, which is you just pull up your front tire and you kind of just like ice pick off of it a little bit. Um, either one's fun. You can even like bunny hop off of it if you want. There's a lot of tricks that you can do out of double peg grinds. You can do manuals and bar spins and 180s and stuff like that. So 
I'd recommend starting with the turn off method and then do like the ice pick and then try to like hop off. But it's completely up to you. Um, as far as that goes, this is actually where I learned my double pegs. Um, I couldn't find one of those pieces that doesn't have the like the flat. Hey, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, I mean, like if you have a ledge, but like all the way down to the ground it's concrete or something else. So you don't have this gap under your rear peg. It's like, remember, I felt like the way I was explaining that earlier was confusing, but that's what I was talking about. But this is what I learned on. So something about this height is not bad. Um, you can find a little bit lower. If you have a flat rail, that'd also be really good. I had this like weird stigma of like flat rails in my head, just handrails in general. I thought they'd be harder or something, but literally if you can do a double peg on a flat ledge, you can do a double peg on a rail. It's literally no different. The only thing that might happen is you might have to hop over your bike if you lean too far over. That's about it. But yeah, that's it. I know I addressed this for um, flat ledges, but it's all, like the exact same tips for a flat rail. I just don't have any flat rails here that are on the ground because the only thing we have close to a flat rail at this part, because it kind of sucks, is a little bit of a flat out of a bank. So I'll do it one here and there in just a second just so you can see it on a rail too. But as far as the tips, it's the exact same for a flat rail. There's no difference um, between doing it on a ledge and a rail. It's pretty much the exact same thing. Don't let that like, because a rail was so much scarier for me. I don't know why I was being stupid about it. I thought I'd like hop over my bike and like kick something and fall and eat it. But literally once I started doing them on a rail, I was like, oh, this is literally the exact same. I don't know why I was so scared of them. So don't be scared of a flat rail. Go mess with them. Um, Death, if you have one at your park, take advantage of it. I wanted one of those for so long, and we never have them at this park, so it kind of sucked. But as far as double pegs go, guys, that's about it. If you have any other questions, um, just let me know down in the comments. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Okay, and one other thing that I might add definitely, if you're having a little trouble grinding on there, get a little bit of wax and uh, wax up the surface because there's definitely surfaces that can be really sticky for this, like especially at this park sometimes, like it does not slide at all. So if you're having trouble and you're sticking a lot, go ahead and go get like a little candle or something, just wax it down and that'll help a ton.